quite honestly, and I've said this all, all the time, if, you know, a few times in these briefings, uh, you know, Beto has been underwater since November of 20. In fact, we know he was underwater in all the races we did in 20, the 25 house races. Uh, he, he never improved it. Uh, the margin of the, the polling across the campaign, including the 100 days of tracking that we did in starting in August every night. Um, you know, he just never showed, you know, any movement on his part. He, you know, obviously the tracking is one day up a little bit, down the next day down, but on the average, it was straight across. And it, if you look at the exit polls, he had 86% of the Texan voters have decided more than a month ago they're going to vote for him. Um, it, it, there's, it, you know, not to, I don't want to editorialize and be, be negative. I actually hope O'Rourke runs again. Um, it's just really important that he has a strong message to say. And he should be encouraged to run again because the fourth time is the charm. It's pretty, pretty clear of, in politics. Um, and just like the Globetrotters want to run against, uh, play against the Washington generals, we need Beto. He helps him our base. He helps us raise money. Uh, and it's a, he's a good, good asset to our side. But he never ran a single positive ad. He is uh, upside down in terms of favorable and unfavorable. He is, you can see, look at the network exit polls. I'm not making this stuff up. Uh, you know, he was the more extreme candidate. That's voters thought he was more extreme. All his ads were about how extreme um, Governor Abbott was. Well, that would be a hashtag failure. Never had a single solution for all the terrible things that he said about the governor. Uh, the grid, you know, guns, um, um, all the other things. There was quite a few. Uh, everything was a kitchen sink. He said the same thing for, you know, months. And, you know, the, the shocking thing is, uh, and I'll shut up, you know, Peter Hart is a serious pollster, the Democrat. And he was his pollster early on. Selinda Lake was his pollster, most recent reports. She's a very serious pollster. Uh, I, I can't imagine that, you know, the polling they did, which they obviously did at least two, one with Peter Hart, one with, with Lake, that they didn't get a grip and a handle on what was necessary to, you know, right his ship. And so they just kept, you know, sailing into the rocks because they just never had a salute, positive solution, never introduced themselves or tried to reintroduce themselves to voters. Um, it just was, you know, really malpractice. And he should definitely keep his team because they're top-notch and uh, when he runs again.